buildings are responsible for almost 40% of the CO2 emissions um, in the planet, as well as almost 40% of the energy consumption. So our built environment is a very uh, contaminating agent, as well as a very consumptive agent, um, which is why it is important to rethink the traditions upon which the built environment has been planned and designed in the last decades. Circular economy, circularity, or cradle to cradle, or ideas of biomimicry, they are notions that they um, redefine the way that resources are being, um, um, uh, let's say, um, used for the built environment. And um, they are principles that they also make us rethink how uh, byproducts uh, or how things that we have been considering as waste, they can be part of a new uh, operation in, uh, in, in, in terms of reuse and, and upcycle um, while we, we design and build. So um, circular economy is important because we need to give an answer to the current ecological impact of the built environment. Um, it, also, uh, it is also a way to redefine um, uh, buildings and cities as um, organisms that they have a certain metabolism similar to the one that we find in nature. And it is important to start understanding that um, the materials that we use for our built environment, the way that we reuse uh, or, or define the life cycle of these materials, as well as um, the um, ecological footprint of every building uh, that we do, uh, is, is affecting uh, the way that we actually live and the way that we interact and the way that we create a symbiosis with the environment. So it is important to rethink the traditional way that we have been building um, and it is important because we want to create uh, or to have uh, a good quality for life uh, for everyone.